Oh my God. Kings the Mohalu has thrown a bombshell, you know, at the federal government. Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? He said, I will not dialogue with the deaf. Who are the deaf? Who is the deaf? Mohalu discloses why he has stopped speaking on Nigeria's economy crisis. Of course, now. When you tell them, do this, do this, they will tell you, oh, you're always criticizing the government. People, some people are just there to criticize the government. They cannot provide solutions. I say, what kind of thing are you talking about? People have profound solutions upon solutions and solutions. Do you know that uh, those who are in government today, when they were at the other side, they were saying, oh, this is the way you should do it. They were providing solutions to the people in government at that time. But now they are there. All of the things, all the advices that they have been giving to people in government when they were on the other side, now they are there. They can't even implement it. So what are we talking about? Oh, some people are just there to criticize. You cannot say, what do we need to do? I always say, you are expecting somebody to tell you what to do. But when you were complaining, you said you are going to do X, Y, Z. You are being paid heavily. And yet, you want somebody to come and advise you upon all the money that they pay you. Is that how it's being done? Former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Kingsley Mohalu, has said that he has declined all requests for interviews on the country's economy crisis over the past several months. Mohalu explained that he decided to stay silent because he does not see the need to dialogue with the deaf. He asserted that he has already spoken several times on how to fix the Nigeria economy and anyone interested should go and find his previous interviews. Speaking via his handle, the former deputy governor lamented that despite not needing Nigeria economy to survive, he has been concerned about the situation in the country out of passion, that he does not need Nigeria economy to survive. Wow, that is fantastic. According to him, I have declined virtually all requests for interviews on the Nigeria economy from Nigerian media over the past several months. Why? There is no point in a dialogue of, of the deaf. I have already spoken a lot about uh, how to fix Nigeria's economy. Anyone interested can find what I have said. It is ironic that people like us who actually do not need Nigeria and its economy for our personal survival are so concerned simply out of passion for our country. But after a while, we must recognize the harsh truth and act accordingly. Hmm. <laughs> Well, same here. Somebody is, you know, alluding to the fact uh, of what a Kingsley Mohalo has said. They are not deaf. They represent the devil himself. You better let us know the way out. He was already a director for nation building under UN before he was called to come and be the deputy governor for Central Bank. And let me remind you, so many minority policies or monetary policies that have the central bank that the central bank have neglected today was introduced by him deaf and blind hmm. sometimes uh, read about a profile before saying something go to malaysia and ask more about him or even thailand okay some people it's like some people are trying to argue that hey, what does it mean that he does not need the nigeria's economy to survive hey, this and this and that he was a, a cbn or deputy cbn governor so why is he making matter so some people are trying to educate others of Mohalo's achievement, the reason why he made such a statement. Deaf and dope are not only deaf. I wonder what advice you will give when you are among those who mix the country to this level. Okay, I think I see reason why some people are trying to lecture people who do not know Mohalo uh, pedigree. Stop deceiving yourself. You made your money in Nigeria as deputy governor of CBN. Okay, uh, they are truly deaf. What concerns him about uh, the masses? Uh, Mori Baku, uh, whatever you like, so Nigeria has gone too far beyond your anarchists. <laughs> oh, all these Agbado people, in fact, eh, they are they are they are Momo and now follow come. Very true, but you can do it freely because you have alternatives. If not, you will make them do the right thing and kind thing. You are too proud to think eh, you are. The only one who has basket of wisdom to solve Nigeria problem. The unfortunate thing is that uh, Tinubu built Lagos. He has all these things. Now nah, I'm not saying now, 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 cock and boot story. Yeah, somebody is uh, saying that uh, no wonder Shore was not good enough to you or any other 
person but you but say you were once in cbn what permanent solution did you add to nigeria economy hmm. make him talk now make your uncle tinubu send dss to him abby he wanted to say he did very well in cbn and the economy was very good as i then so stop talking or saying what you don't even understand any person that have interest of his people must uh, not disclose nigeria's nigeria must not discuss nigeria is expired let every region claim they, they are wise and industrious and industrious let us know who is who they are not even there for the masses but for themselves and hence you don't even need they do not even need uh, any constructive uh, advice what constructive advice will you print dollars in magically to tackle insecurity yeah he has said his own he has said his own like they always say a word is enough for the wise so no be big deal he who has here here let's see here this is appropriate the nigeria government is not only deaf but blind and lame as well this is appropriate yes mr president is the wiser person on earth so he doesn't need your advice dreamer the zoo government will not even heed to your economic advice because of ethnicity it is a pity the managers of nigeria's economy are classified by such a patriotic economic expert as they say guys uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this